There was a guy who was doing, and I'm sure you know, he was doing those uh, jailhouse interviews trying to connect you to his steroid scandal. It turned out to be totally false, and it's been proven to be completely false. And, you know, a guy doing jailhouse interviews isn't exactly the most reputable source anyway. But when that starts to come out, obviously, you know you didn't do anything, right? Are you able to tune stuff like that out and be like, well, I'm going to be fine because I didn't do this? Or do you start being like, fuck, like, I don't need somebody messing with me right now. Like, I just don't, I don't need to be thinking about this. I think it's a little bit of both, you know what I mean? Because, you know, at the same, uh, at one point, it's like, who is this? Like, right. wh- where is this coming from? Like, what, never did, even I, heard of what this did I do? Yeah, right. it's like, like, uh, what the heck is going on? Like, I'm just sitting at home with playing with my kids, you know, feed, <laughs> feeding babies, changing diapers, and doing dad stuff, you know what I mean? And then all of a sudden this happens. But I think it's just a good lesson of, you know, where we're at. And if you have any kind of, you know, media or social media presence or essentially, you know, my Twitter is a billboard, you know what I mean? And, and, Unfortunately, some people want to use it, whether it's in a positive fashion or, or a negative. And are people ever negative on Twitter? No, <laughs> not with me. You know what I mean. I have a pretty good history with just being liked in general. But yeah, yeah. But especially no, the wrestling audience. But right. I, you know, at the same time, it's one of those deals where I know what I, you know, I know me. I know what I've done. I, I know what the truth is. So you got to have kind of a, a bulletproof mentality where it's like these little things are just ricocheting off of me.